The highest aspiration of man is the aspiration for the divine, so that the awareness of the divine becomes more and more constant and our life can be organized around it. But why that aspiration? One often develops that aspiration because one finds that no matter what one does and how one lives, life is full of uh, sorrows, suffering, misery. They keep visiting us more often than we would like. And uh, we realize that uh, the only aspiration that can uh, save us from that sort of uh, turmoil and uh, make us peaceful in spite of that turmoil is uh, the divine and that divine is within us. And uh, the divine within us is always at peace because it has no desires, no anger, no jealousy, no greed, none of those negativities which are in fact behind all the sorrow and suffering that characterize life. But then is the aspiration only for escaping sorrow and suffering or is there something positive which also drives that aspiration? In fact, there's a lot more positive also because uh, just the absence of sorrow and suffering may give us uh, peace, even unshakable peace. But then uh, the aspiration for the divine takes us towards something positive, which we describe in terms like uh, bliss, ecstasy, and ananda, which go beyond ordinary happiness and even beyond what we sometimes call joy. So there is something positive which also drives this aspiration. But then is it just to escape sorrow and suffering and uh, to enjoy bliss that uh, we aspire or we should aspire? In fact, uh, the aspiration for the divine does not need a justification. And uh, escape from sorrow and suffering and enjoying bliss might add to the intensity of the aspiration up to a point, to a point on the spiritual path. But eventually this aspiration should be become entirely without any justification. But eventually, no reason should be required for uh, that aspiration. One should aspire for the divine because one needs nothing else. One should aspire for the divine because one can't do without it. One should aspire for the divine because uh, the need should be so intense that it has been compared by Sri Ramakrishna with the intensity with which a person who is drowning feels the need for just one more breath, just a little bit of air. Thank you. <laughs>